In 2004, the Brazilian company SC Tech showcased their newly developed military vehicle, the M8 Octopus, which featured a unique design. The vehicle was planned to be developed as a universal wheeled off-road chassis, capable of serving as a conventional off-road vehicle, rescue vehicle, medical vehicle, and other military vehicles. Although the Octopus attracted considerable attention, there was limited understanding of this vehicle. After 2004, there were few updates about it, and it seemed that the entire project had stalled. However, a prototype of the vehicle was indeed constructed, and some public photos can be found online. The Octopus seems to have evolved from the Brazilian Angisa EE 25 6x6 truck, which has been in service since the 1970s. The EE-25 is a high-performance military truck known for its off-road mobility, and it was commercially successful, being utilized by several African countries. The Octopus appears to be an upgraded version of the EE-25, but by the time the Octopus was introduced, the EE-25 was no longer in production, and the design company no longer existed. The Octopus features a four-axle, eight-wheel chassis, with the axles not evenly distributed, but rather arranged in pairs front and rear. The front two pairs of wheels serve as steering wheels, a design intended to reduce wheel load and improve maneuverability. However, for unknown reasons, the truck is equipped with small diameter wheels, giving it an awkward appearance and reducing ground clearance. The power configuration of the truck is unclear, but if it's similar to the EE-25, it may be equipped with a Mercedes-Benz diesel engine capable of producing 156 horsepower, and it uses all-wheel drive like the EE-25. Despite the small wheels, the truck has good traction and is said to be able to adapt to various extreme off-road terrains. The Octopus is equipped with a hydraulic lifting device underneath to raise the vehicle, so there is no need to worry about the low ground clearance causing it to get stuck. The truck is also equipped with a winch at the front and rear, for self-recovery and rescuing other vehicles. The payload capacity of the Octopus is unknown, but it is said to be designed to carry 16 people, similar to the original EE-25 truck, with a maximum payload of nearly 5 tons. The prototype only showcased a standard cargo box covered with canvas, so additional modifications would be needed if it were to be developed into other specialized mission vehicles. Although the chairman of SC Tech hinted at Brazil's attention to this project and mentioned foreign orders, the Octopus did not receive orders from its own country, let alone international orders. It was mainly discussed by military enthusiasts, and over time, many people have forgotten about the Octopus. The specific reasons for the termination of this project are unclear, but it may be due to its overly complex structure.